Hey there, Void. How you doing? So, I was doing my binge of the backlog of Shudder while I was on my vacation, and, well, my vacation's over. But there were a few right at the tail end that I didn't get around to actually recording, so here I am recording. So, it's been a little bit, and, you know, I really should get back to actually watching through my own collection, but, hey. Yeah, I know. This has been kind of fun, so... The randomness is definitely interesting. But, I'm continuing to watch movies that I normally wouldn't have clicked on. Uh, here was another one. We Go On. Which was a bit of a strange one. Just in... It's rare to find a horror movie that feels... uplifting. But, I think that's kind of what this one was going for. So, I suppose it did succeed at that. Now... We Go On is a 2016 film, and I've never heard of it. It's a pretty small release. Uh, it might be a Shutter exclusive, but I'm not sure. I think it's also on, on like, uh, AMC Plus, so hard to say. A lot of things that claim to be exclusives are also on AMC Plus. So. Anyway. We Go On. Um, man, uh who's utterly terrified of living because of an accident when he was younger, so he's so scared he's going to die, he's too afraid to live. So, rather than living in fear, he offers up $30,000 to anyone who can prove that there's life after death. Show him a ghost, show him some form of afterlife, something that he can't disprove. And, well, he places an ad in the paper, and the options roll in. But he narrows it down to three main ones. The, uh, the si then the scientist, with a proven scientific method, that says if you scare, if you're sc uh, so badly scared, you might, it'll open you to seeing ghosts. Uh, there is the, uh, then, uh, a lady who works in, uh, I think it's a Mexican restaurant, kind of a family thing, who sees ghosts and offers to show him something, and then a guy, then an eccentric with a mystical item that he procured that will, the contents will answer his, your questions. Well, for one reason or another, most of these don't pan out, sort of, but uh, he also has a mysterious voicemail that he never actually got the call for, just a sudden voicemail, and saying, Come out here, I want to show you something. Don't, and pretty much say that he doesn't want the money, he just wants to show you. And well, he shows him something, and after that he is now being followed by a spirit who is determined to encourage our man, uh, Miles, I think his name was, to kill this woman, so he will, essentially the, the spirit that's following him refuses to go to the afterlife until this other woman joins him. And it kind of goes from there of him now trying to have to deal with now knowing too much. But, uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. But I wouldn't call it a great film. Uh, the effects are okay. But it's, it's interesting in style. But it's pretty much the main character running around with his mom for an hour and a half. And I will say a lot of the problems with this could have been resolved if his mother told the truth around the midpoint. Because if that had happened, well, there wouldn't have been any problems. So, or at least he wouldn't have gotten haunted. He would have gotten an answer much earlier. But the way he does go about seeing something, it, well, I would say it was an uplifting twist, so I was kind of examining my rating scale, my, 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 my MacGuffins, and it might help to kind of explain how I kind of grade on it now. 1 to 3 is my bad section. 4 to 5 is my average. Oh, so 4, 5, 6 is my average. 7, 8, 9 is good, and 10 is perfect. Very hard to get it. Happens, but very hard to do. So. Essentially, so five is dead on in the middle. It's okay. It's average. Six would be average, but on the high end. Well, four is average, but a little lacking. And then, like, 
A three is, is bad, but it's got some redeeming qualities, so it's on the high end of bad. While one is utterly abysmal. Likewise, a, a strip, strip, a real good one would be an eight, but a, a very good one would be a nine, and good, but not as good as what you, as some of the others. Yeah, it's kind of gradual. So I was trying to think about we go on. Where do we put this? I always start things right at average at five, and what, as the movie goes, I might be considering where I'm going to put it. This one never did much to go above, so it was sitting at a five throughout a lot of this. And I was pretty much ready to give it that, but the ending, there was just something about it that it resonated, so I'm willing to bump it up to the high end of average, give it a six MacGuffins. So we go on, it's not a great film by any means, but it's an interesting one. So, and I'm okay seeing movies that are just a little offbeat. And this, I think, qualifies. It's worth checking out. If you got an hour and a half to kill, it's not a long sit. And really, it feels like three smaller things kind of woven together. So it, it goes by quick. All right. See you in a few. I've got, I think, three more of these to bang out. So, kiss you in a few.